if you, I guess we can go there. If you, if you could fight three fighters from any era and any weight class, who would you want to share the square the square circle with, buddy? Um. Well, the first one it has to be Canelo. <laughs> Canelo, he's the first one. The second one, no, 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 David, not active guys though. I know, I know, but you're saying from any era. <laughs> no, I know, I, mean, I, know, I, know. I got you, I got you. All right, all right. Um, I got you right after this. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, the first one will have to be Sugar Ray Leonard. Okay. The second one, Bernard Hopkins, because I've always been a fan of Bernard Hopkins, and the third one has to be Roy Jones Jr. Man, really? it just has to be Roy Jones Jr. Like them, I like them. So yeah. I guess maybe you know. You want it, the people want it, they all want it, the good people, they all want it here. So give us three active fighters. Three active fighters. I would love to fight, obviously, Canelo, Caleb Plant, and Charlo. Caleb Plant and Charlo. Okay, okay. I mean, yeah, those, those are all huge fights. Well, if you fight, it's a huge fight, but those are huge fights, bro. That's awesome. Man. Yeah, and, I, you know, I feel like we're in a good position right now, too, because – you know, I'm basically – I'm the top guy without a belt at, at super middleweight. And, you know, I feel like maybe Charlo could go up to 168. You know, maybe I could fight Caleb Plant, Canelo. I feel like all those fights, they're actually – they're realistic to make. So that's why I'm very excited. That's why I'm just right now I'm trying to stay really motivated and stay training because I know any big any, any big opportunity could come at any moment. Facts, bro. And uh, I believe that you'll fight, you know, uh, all three of those guys realistically, bro. So – uh, but either any whoever comes your way, just you know what it is. Stay ready, stay locked in. Whoever comes your way, you know they're gonna pay, and that's just that, man. So uh, yeah. uh, okay, um, David, I, we do have a good one from one of the good people in here. It's it's a uh, S C R I Z A P D O G G one. Okay, uh, are you still gonna put on a show in Phoenix for for us friends slash family? You know, would you like to? Well, definitely, man. Um. Hopefully the next fight, you know, they still don't know where it's going to be at, man. But, you know, definitely I still want to go back to Phoenix, Arizona. I haven't fought in Phoenix, Arizona in like six years, so I got to go back to Phoenix. I mean, I was going to fight there already, but what kind of messed everything up was COVID. So, I mean, I don't see why there wouldn't be a reason for me to go back to Phoenix. So, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Hopefully the next fight is in Phoenix, so we'll see what happens. All right, that's what's up. Well, okay, all right. Well, last thing, uh, last question, then we're going to play a little game briefly. Um, what advice would you have – a young aspiring boxer trying to just achieve achieve greatness, you know, like yourself, basically. Um, just stay motivated. Just try to like train as much as you can. And you know, there's some people that they don't even accomplish nothing, but then they feel like they're super accomplished. You know, I feel like to become a great fighter, you just got to have a vision and you just got to make it happen. You know, sometimes it's hard to do it, but you just got to try your best to stay grounded, stay humble, and. At the end of the day, you got to do it for your family, too, because I feel like that always gives me motivation, too. I'm not only just – I don't just do it for myself. I do it for, for, for my family. So that gives me the extra push to actually make whatever I need to happen accomplish. So, so, well, that's it. I like it. So now we're going to go like this and like that. You can say, I'm actually, like, for instance, boxing or MMA. Or you can say both. Which well, one? I love both. I love both. All right, yeah. All right tight. So that's cool. Good start. Basketball or baseball? Basketball. I don't like baseball. All right, there you go. There you go. All right. um, football, American or football, you know, real wide soccer? No, nah, football, American, bro. I can't. I don't like watching soccer. I got football. Okay. That's way better than soccer. No, no. All right. And I know you, I know we all know Washington is uh, where you, you know, you're doing things. So Seattle Seahawks or Arizona Cardinals? No, nah, <laughs> Cardinals. Arizona Cardinals, too. <laughs> Yeah, they're looking good too right now. They're looking real good. Yeah. Um, and then the, okay. the, the Suns too. They just beat the Lakers the other day, man. So Phoenix is doing good right now. Man, you <laughs> feel right. That's a good time to be a fan right now. You're right. Yeah, Phoenix. I like Phoenix too. Heck yeah. Shout out.